grace, in peace, and victory ours in Jesus Christ. God bless you, brothers and sisters. And a blessed and victorious 2021 to you. It's going to be a, a year of growing, a year of uh, spending, a year of many victories. We receive a vision from the nation chapter church pastor Carl D that in 2021 we're gonna have a seeding grace amen you know what that means grace is gonna grow in your life grace is gonna spend in your life grace is gonna bless your life today I have a wonderful message that God spoke in my heart the power of the Lord to heal all things you know that humanity the whole world is in need of healing not just healing from the pandemic from the COVID-19 but healing for the soul for the spirit amen so this message is so strong and I want to invite you to pray with me right now. Can you follow me in prayer? Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are here today, this morning, to receive the anointing, to receive the direction, to receive the power of the Holy Spirit in our lives. I know, Lord, I know that you have great things. I know that you have wonderful things to our lives and then we want to receive today exceeding grace grace that's going to be great on our lives lord visit now all those who are sick with the covid there's a hundred thousand people around the world suffering bring healing bring hope bring blessing to them and this vaccine who is coming is going to help us protect from the pandemic but above us is God who's going to protect us in Jesus name amen thank you Jesus blessed be the name of the Lord praise the Lord amen I'm talking about the power of the Lord to heal all things amen not everybody is sick right because when you when you talk about healing first thing we think is sick people right people who are sick and need heal not everybody's sick right not all people they have like a sickness a disease or something but one thing is is true everybody in this world who don't know Christ, they are sick on their spirit, on their soul. And they need to be healed. They need to receive the power of healing in their lives to be cured, to receive healing. This anointing by with Jesus heal the sick is all also called virtue in the Bible healing power and the healing power is not just to heal like I said the sickness but to heal the spirit because there are people they are attacking by the the power of sin sin has a power you know that where's the power of sin to kill to destroy to take away salvation, to take people away from the kingdom of God. So the power, the anointing in Jesus Christ is able to heal people on their spirit from sin, from destroying things on this world. You can see that power in the book of Luke chapter 6 verses 17 to 19. You also can see 
in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verses 25 to 34. Also in Luke, chapter 5, verses 17. That show that the power of healing is available or made available to all of those who believe in God, to, who believe in Jesus. And this power can be stored in us under the right conditions. It will flow. Amen. 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 So what is the right condition, Pastor? Amen. Let me explain something. So you're going to be able to understand. The healing power required from us right conditions that means we need to obey the Lord we need to obey the Word of God we need to be praying fasting we need to have a disciplined life in our lives let's go start with the first reading and then I have all the scripture over here you can write down the first scripture is in Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 10, verses 27. It shall come to pass in that day. So when the prophet Isaiah talk about a day, a day who was coming, it's like when you announce it, or on, on such day, Something's gonna happen. I will do something. I will go somewhere. So here he said, It shall come to pass in that day. So the prophets from Isaiah we will fulfill on the day of Christ. So when Christ come to her to earth, all the prophets of healing salvation deliverance power of god comes to pass amen and said it shall come to pass in the day of christ that his burden will be taken away from your shoulder so your burden will be taken away from your shoulder and your yoke from your neck and the yoke of sickness and oppression will be destroyed because of the anointing. So on the day of Christ, the burden that have weight on your shoulder, on people's shoulder, you know, and the yoke, what's the yoke? The, the, cur the curse of sickness, oppression, and suffering. He promised will be destroyed in the days of Christ. Since Christ come and start his ministry until this day, until he comes, he has the power, the church has the power, the anointing to destroy every sickness, diseases, every evil, of every work of the devil will be destroyed by the anointing. When you read the, the word anointing in the Bible, means oil. For this reason, we use the oil to anoint. You know? So God, He put it down with Jesus, a oil of anointing. And this anointing is power to us. Hallelujah. So number one, healing power. Amen. This healing power has been supplied to us through Christ 2,000 years ago. It's revealed in the Word of God, especially through the ministry of Jesus. There is not a lack of power has been given to us abundantly supplied to us by God through Christ with the Holy Spirit 
Amen. Amen. The Holy Spirit bring the anointing to me, anointing to you, anointing to the believers to set people free, to heal sickness and diseases, to destroy oppression, to saving souls in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. And then we need to have a knowledge concerning to the power of him. We need to have a knowledge concerning the anointing of deliverance, for example. Oh, I know, Pastor, I know. I have a learner and, and my church, past, my pastor teaches me. I, I read in the Bible. I watch a, a movie. I watch a video. No, no, this is not a knowledge. It's not this kind of a knowledge that I'm talking about. Because this is not a theory. It's not like something that you read and you start to work in because you read. No, it's anointing. It's a spiritual that brings to us responsibilities. I cannot play with this thing. I was calling to the ministry almost 38 years ago. Me and a couple of friends. I have a friend, Miss Paul. Bishop Santos, that he has the same time of ministry we, that I have, and he re we receive the same, the same call, like our pastor, Pastor Carl D. He received the same call to set people free, to walk against the 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 works of evil, to destroy the works of devil. To set people free, to, to destroy witchcraft, curses, to heal the sick. I have to have an knowledge. We need to have an knowledge. That's not just do because God said to do, not just do because God called us to do. We need to have a responsibility that I need to have. I need to take my life until the end of my life in, in, under the fear of the Lord. I need to, so, so, I need to uh, bring my life before Christ all the time and fast and pray in humiliation, you know, because I have seen with my eyes pastors, bishops, deacons, orcs, that they, they come into this kind of ministry. Deliverance, you know, attacking the devil, fighting uh, against the, the forces of evil, start a warfare against the devil, and then they did not have the responsibility on their lives. People, those people think there is a plane, it's like a game, and it's not. You know, I have, I know hundreds of people, pastors, bishops, they fell. And they, they are destroying today. Some of them even die in sin. So look at that. You're called to saving souls, and you end up being destroyed. Because you're not prepared. You didn't prepare yourself. I don't want to scare you. And then. I, I know. So pastor. I don't want to do that. If God calls you. You need to do. But you just have to take responsibility. Have, you need to have a knowledge. Of the responsibility. Behind the ministry. It's so nice when I come over here. When I go to a church. And I pray. And I preach to the people. But I know that I need to have a clean life with God. Because if I have anything that's wrong, for example, if I touch on an offering, if I live in sin, prostitution, stuff like that, this is going to come back on me. Because those demons, those spirituals that I, I cast away, 
they are going to come into me. Bible says they come seven times worse. Jesus says those spirits that you cast away will come back to you seven times worse. But I'm, I'm not afraid. Why? Because I, I'm sure that I know the responsibilities. And I keep my life sanctified by the fire and by the fear of the Holy Spirit. So I'm covered. I'm covered with the armor of God. I'm covered with the Holy Spirit. I'm protected. Amen. You're going to be protected too. 2021 is seeding grace. The Holy Spirit operations brings healing power of God into us. Once we know this, we're going to be able to connect our faith with His power and keep it connected until our sickness, evil, disease, oppression is, is destroyed. When you when you receive the call to be a part of a ministry like that, you know that you're not going to stop until you destroy all the evil. Until you heal the sick, you set people free from oppressions. Amen. It's a mission. Amen. Amen. The gospel proves that healing was having been provided to us through the cross itself. Hallelujah. Isaiah 53, chapter 5 says, By his stripes we are healed. Literally says, Healing flows to us through Jesus. You can see that in 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 24. Through his death, a resurrection, Jesus supply all of us with healing power. We just need to do one thing. Of course, pray, sanctify ourselves, you know, be humble, listen to the word of God. Don't let us be full of proud, trying to bring something to our name. No, it's to his name. Mm -mm -mm. God, don't, he does not divide his glory. I don't want nothing to me. It's not me. It's Jesus. It's God. Amen. We just need to know one thing. Number three. Without Jesus, we can do nothing. Amen. Out of Him. Out of God. If, if we come out of God, we fell. We fall. And we die. I was reading an article this week that says like that. Pay attention. When God wanted to raise fish, talk about the, cre the creation, God spoke to the sea. Amen. When God wanted to create trees, bushes, He spoke to the earth, to the dirt, to the soil. But when God wanted to create man, he turned to himself. Then God says, let us make man in our image and likeness. If you take a fish out of the water, the fish will die. If you remove a tree from the ground, from the earth, from the dirt, from the soil, the tree also dies. Likewise, likewise, when a man disconnects himself from God, he also dies. God is our natural environment, like water is for the fish, like dirt. Soil is for the tree. God is our natural environment. We were created to live in His presence. We have to be connected with Him because only 
with him life existed and without him life does not exist we will stay connected with God in 2021 I delivered this prophecy to you you're gonna be connected with God remember that water without fish is still being watered but fish without water are nothing fish die the soil the dirt without trees is still being soil dirt but tree without soil is nothing the tree dry out and die God without men he's still being God hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah but man mankind without God is nothing glory to God can you pray with me oh Lord we understand the vision you're bringing us power and anointing to heal all things not just the six but to set people free from oppression from the works of evil from the prison of sin and you want to deliver those who are suffering but we need to understand that separate from God we are nothing that without God we, we are nothing and we need you Jesus to have this power to have this anointing to go on with the work of God with the work of the gospel my brothers and sisters you probably know the Lord or not and right now you're being touched with this preaching I want to invite you to to give your heart to Jesus now I want to invite you to accept Christ as your Savior right now it's very easy you just need to say your name say I say your name right now say I repent myself of all my sins say Lord I'm sorry I have sinned I need a salvation I need your forgiveness say I I say your name again receive Christ I as my Lord and my Savior and I receive right now salvation in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus receive the power of healing amen receive a power to set people free to, to heal not just sickness and disease but to heal souls and spirits to save souls to Christ amen that was wonderful wonderful message thank you God for that opportunity I want to invite you to continue uh, receiving the, the direction uh, our pastor pastor Carl D from the Nation Life Church he presented to us a purpose of prayer and fast 14 days praying and fasting asking God to exceed his grace asking God to expand the missions asking God to expand the ministry ministry asking God to reach in souls I want to invite you to come and pray and fast with us starting January 18 from January 18 to January 21st 14 days of fasting prayer and you're gonna see God working wonderful things in your life stay in grace stay in peace and victory hours in Jesus Christ grace and peace God bless you amen